Hey guys, I'm Jeff Evans, the youth pastor at Grace Community Church, and I just wanted to share a story with you. So I heard this story one time about this little boy, we'll call him Little Johnny, and his little sister, we'll call her Little Mary. So little Johnny had this disease that he was able to fight through and he was able to, to survive it. And then all of a sudden, about two years later, his little sister gets it. Now little Mary's not faring so well. She was a lot smaller than he was when he had it. And, and the diagnosis comes in that she's not gonna make it unless she gets a blood transfusion from someone who had previously defeated the disease. And wouldn't you know it, little Johnny's a perfect match. So they come up and they ask little Johnny, would you be willing to give your blood to your sister? And he, he's nervous, but he says, yeah, for my sister, I'd do anything. And so they wheel him into the operating room and they, they, they stick a needle in his arm and they stick a needle in her arm and, and the transfusion begins. And, and you see the two and little Mary's sad and kind of small and pale and little Johnny's you know, robust and he's, he's smiling. But as the procedure goes on, his smile fades and, and about an hour or so into the process, he looks at the doctor and he says, doctor, when do I die? You see, I think that story is amazing because little Johnny didn't actually know that he wasn't gonna die. He was able to give up his blood and he would be okay, but that didn't matter because for his sister, he would do anything. He would conquer his fear and he would give his life for his sister. I think that's amazing because that's the same sort of love that God has for us. That's the same sort of love that Jesus has for us, that he loves us so much that his love defeats his fear. We see this in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prays and he sweats blood and he prays, God, if it be your will, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but your will be done. That's the kind of love that Jesus has for us. In fact, it says that Jesus loved us while we were still sinners. So wherever you are, whatever you've done, whatever you've been through, you were never outside the love of God. Jesus came down from heaven. He left his perfection to come down to our level, to live a perfect sinless life, to put himself below his creation and to go to the cross for you and me. And I think the cross, the crucifixion, that miracle that happened on Calvary is, is the most amazing act of love we've ever seen. Because we think about it, we have Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the creator of the universe himself, hanging on a cross. What in the world could keep the strongest, the most powerful, the creator of the universe in pain and agony? What could do it? Was it, was it the strength of the wood that held Jesus on the cross? Or was it the steel through his hands? Did that hold him there? Was it the power of the Roman soldiers or the criticism of the onlookers? What was strong enough to keep Jesus Christ on that cross? In a moment, he could have thought it and been sitting in perfection in heaven with his father. In a second, he could have been there. It was love, that he loved you, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever mistakes you've made, sins you've committed, however much you've messed up, he loved you so much that he stayed on that cross in agonizing pain to pay for your sins. That's the God we serve, that he loves you that much and nothing could ever separate you from the love of God. In fact, in Romans 8, the Apostle Paul says, can anything separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake, we will be killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And this is the best part in verse 38. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You see, we were all little Mary, destined to die. We weren't gonna make it, we weren't strong enough. We couldn't conquer this disease on our own. But luckily, we have a great Father in heaven who looked down on us and loved us despite our mistakes. And he says, don't worry, I will give my life for you. I will take the pain, I will take the sin, and I will take the death, and I will lift it off of you because I love you where you are. Jesus died for us and Jesus rose from the grave.
conquering sin and death in one fell swoop. That's the God we serve. Wherever you are, whatever you've done, wherever you've been, you are not outside of the love of God. Jesus came and died for you.